This is the Vegan Anarchist, and this video is going to be titled, well, this video is going to be titled, Gun Control is going to, no, no, it's going to, never, well, basically going to be titled, Gun Control is going to, never mind, I'll just say what I'm about, I'll title later. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to say my condolences to the victims of that Orlando shooting at that homophobic terrorist who shot a bunch of LGBT people. Okay, beside that, I'm going to my condolences. Um, this is something missing in the gun control bay. If, if, gun, if they try to do gun control, Lives of not just me, but blacks, gays, Latinos, gay, uh, trans, women, even even activists are going to be threatened. In fact, anti-fascist advocates often get murdered or beat up by goons of those fascists and you Nazis and we actually want to beat the crap out of them. And you know, what would happen if you're in the deep south and, the, and you say you're a communist and yeah, uh, yeah, you're a commie and, uh, uh, and you're an atheist. Can you imagine, and you're, can you imagine the threat you're going to face? And so I'm, I'm and not only that, but in a few miles from me, I had to, I live right next to a war zone with the cartels. The drug cartels. But seriously, though, um, let's talk about the whole gun control rhetoric. Hillary Clinton's for gun control. She also called black youth super predators who need to be healed, you know, like a dog. So obviously, she thinks black people are like dogs. She dehumanizes black people at one time. And do you really think if she's going to get charged with also with the fact that ma many cops or police department around the country is full of white supremacist goons? Who do you think? They're not going to unarm the Klan when a lot of them are in the cops or neo Nazis or a lot of them part of the police force. No, they're going to, they're going to, it's going to focus on blacks and minorities. And not only that, but. At Senator Stan finds that we're also pushing for gun control. Her her husband gets a lot benefits a lot from you know drone campaigns that kill so many different um, innocent people. Some could be kids, you know, and also in her in her district has an epidemic of black people being shot by cops. So yeah, black people. Need to why I like why I like to hate about gun control is because the Black Panthers, which blacks and Latinos and gays and working class communities should organize. So when white supremacists or cops come after us and murder people, we can fight back. You know, and um sometimes I you know sometimes. Being an anarchist, if you're attacked by a bunch of, there have been many cases where anarchists have been harassed or beat up or anti-fascist people, commies by, by reactionaries, fascists, white supremacists, and you can't call the cops a lot of times. They do, the cops don't do anything about it. You know why? Because a lot of the cops in the, some of the police department around this country have freaking KKK or new Nazis in there. Or white supremacists. So I am scared. Oh, I'm going to be I'm going to be attacked by a bunch of new Nazis when once I get once cuz I right now I'm a nobody and I don't do anything except YouTube, but once I start going in the real world, people fucking get killed over there. I can get killed. I mean, some countries I'm lucky I don't live in some countries where we Environmental activists just shot, but you know, so you know, you can't always call up cops or the FBI, even if they know about it because, especially because they're the last people want to trust. If you're getting chased by fascists, I'm not. Why would I call the cops? I've said many times, all cops are bastards, and I say f the police. 
And not only that, but I'm an anarchist, an animal rights activist, a radical environmentalist, left, hard leftist. So basically, I will be classified as an extremist. And if I get then, basically when right wing terrorists attack, a lot of times get passes. I mean, this shooter for the Orlando was a prison guard, and he freaking and that's and worked for a security firm, and that's how he would get his guns because and because hello, the guy who sold him a gun worked for the NYPD or used to. It was one of them. So yeah, I, I need guns to, and not only me, but activists and anarchists and communists and blacks and trans, so we won't get murdered. We're not gonna wait for the cops who probably, who will also probably wanna find any reason to arrest us because we're anarchists or radicals. We can't just, we have to have, a, we gotta get rid of ourselves. And not only that, but you know, the government is run by corporations and rich people. So therefore, if you have, and if you have gun control, that will give the cops and the government more power. And will and we'll use that power to benefit rich people in the bourgeoisie. So if we are interested in winning a class war, we need to resist gun control. And Karl Marx is also against gun control for that exact reason. You know, new Nazis are going to attack. Cops are going to murder black people. We're going to need to be, be defend, communities, entire communities need to defend themselves against blacks and cops. And a lot of times, what are you going to do? They murder you. Oh, riot, yeah. And then they call you like a, they call you a thug and use racial slurs on you. But seriously, though, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who in, who want to kill anti fat who want to go after me. I mean, my life could be in danger once I start doing activism. It's not even funny. It it could happen. It happens all the time. I hear about every other day. I hear about a memorial about some guy got killed by a bunch of white supremacists or neo Nazis or KKK or whatever. I mean, it's not a joke. It is really not a joke. Black people gain murder, and gay people gain murder, and yes, now Muslims are homophobic, although it's in the Quran, a lot of homophobia. It's also in the Bible, but at the same time, it's homophobia! But yeah, this is the vegan anarchy!